Hey, what's up? Sami here. Today, we're going to compare the camera performance of the OnePlus 9 Pro, Huawei Mate 40 Pro, and iPhone 12 Pro Max. Huge thanks to my content partner, Phonix Snap. They are kind enough to send me the original file for translating. You can check out their channel in the description. So, a subscription and a thumbs up would be much appreciated. For day night photos, all three phones seem to have the same performance. Welcome with good white balance. For the iPhone, it has slightly boosted the exposure to have the clearest text on the shop side. But if we zoom in on the dark room part, we can see there are more details on Huawei. Under this scenario, we can see three different photo styles. The iPhone has the most true to life color, where the images from both the OnePlus and the Huawei cameras seem to have boosted the brightness on the cup more or less. While OnePlus overall looks crispier and brighter. Huawei feels a bit more saturated. Now, move to the portrait mode. I got to say, OnePlus has the best beauty algorithm. Yeah, this is popular among Asian young people, especially girls. Though I'm really not sure if you like it. Huawei feels more saturated and sharper. Meanwhile, the iPhone has the most true to life color, but looks less pleasing. Same for this rundown. OnePlus delivers the best beauty in color. The whole picture looks pleasing. We can see indeed has plus color tuning performs well on the OnePlus. Not more to the ultra wide angle photos. Huawei has the narrowest FOA, iPhone has the largest. If you copy in at the lower left corner, OnePlus and Huawei have more details than the iPhone on the dark part. If you check the whole photo, iPhone and OnePlus have more accurate white balance. Both have a good control on the distortion. While checking out this group of photos, we can see Huawei went for the reddish and the iPhone went for a greenish white balance. While OnePlus is leading more neutral. Do me on the sign, Huawei has clearer text. While for telephoto photos, each has different types of zoom which are marked on the pictures. What we found from this set of images is that OnePlus has the worst telephoto lens. It feels soft and noisy. And that's maybe the biggest disadvantage of OnePlus camera. Hopefully OnePlus will have a better telephoto lens in the future. No, not photos. OnePlus has the most accurate color, but the details on the dark part is less rich than Huawei and iPhone. Same issue for this group of photos. OnePlus has less details on the dark part and less dynamic range. Under the same scenario, if we enable the night mode, we can see OnePlus has improved a lot. More details can be seen and not so noisy and has a good control and the highlights too. Now, we turn on the ultra wide mode. OnePlus and Huawei have almost the same performance, while iPhone feels a bit soft. We can also see OnePlus has a wider FOV in the same position while we cannot register the left building. I would say OnePlus ultra wide lens has a consistent, good performance for night photos. Overall, OnePlus camera performance is between Huawei and iPhone. For night photos, there's still something needs to be optimized but the overall color reproduction is a bonus. Ultra wide lens performance is the best among the three, where telephoto lens ah, is the worst. It's safe to say OnePlus 9 Pro's camera performance has improved a lot compared to its predecessors and definitely ranks in the first tier phone category now. Not about the video performance. We haven't had both phones while taking this video clips. Overall, iPhone has a better and a smooth stabilization, where for OnePlus, we sometimes see jello effect. But to my surprise, OnePlus has a really good performance on net videos. It has a good dynamic range, good to level color. I would say it tops in Android phones. All right, that's the photo comparison of the OnePlus 9 Pro. What do you think about it? Or do you think this kind of photo comparison is helpful or just meaningless. Anyway, you might just use your phone camera to scan QR codes in your daily life. Let me know in the comment section where I'm planning to do more in the future. Sammy, stay subscribed and I will see you in the next one.